Hello, uh, welcome to HelpingMath.com. Uh, I'm Stanley. In this video, where I'm going to show you how to solve inequalities. Uh, basically, inequalities are just two um, expressions are not the same. They're not equal. So there are some possibilities. The first one, uh, one could be greater than the other one. Let's say x greater than 5. Uh, what does mean x greater than 5? We can look at number line here. This is number 0, it's number 5. Uh, x greater than 5, so which means all the number on the right side of the number 5, but does not in include the number 5. The second one, uh, one number is greater or equal. So uh, we can think about x greater and equal number 5. 0, number 5. The same, all the numbers on the right side of the 5. But because x could be num equal number 5, so here's a dot. The differences between those two is that the number 5. This one, x greater and equal number 5, that means that x could be number 5. This one does not include number 5. Um, the other one is, third one is uh, one expression less than the other one. We can think about the x less than 3, number 0, number 3 here. So x less than 3, which means the rest of the 3. So all of this number less than 3, but because here is less than 3, that could not include the number 3. Right? It's a circle here. The fourth one is less or equal sign. Let's say x less or equal 3. The same. All the numbers that less than 3. But because x could be number 3, so it's a dot. The same, the difference between those two less than and less or equal sign is that the number 3, 1, include the number 3, this one does not. Uh, when they come to in, uh, solving inequalities, uh, there are a lot of the similarities with the equations. Uh, we can think about, let's say, x greater than x plus 7 greater than 9. It's the same. Just do the opposite operation. When there is addition and subtraction in the uh, inequality, we just do the opposite operation. Like this one, x plus 7. We just need to uh, move the number to the other side, uh, subtract 7 for both sides. Here is 7, 7 cancel. Uh, we have x greater than 9 minus 7 give us 2. So x greater than 2. Uh, same as the subtraction, yeah. x minus 2 less than 5, for example. Uh, here's the subtraction. We need to do the um, mod, um, addition here, plus 2 for both sides. 2, 2 cancel out. Then x less than 5 plus 2 give us 7. Uh, but you need to be careful when you do the division and the multiplication. Because uh, uh, if uh, there is a n negative number in front of the x, which is a coefficient, if it's a negative number, we would do a multiplication and division. You need to change your sign. Uh, for example, um, let's see, 3x greater than 9. This one you doesn't need to because it's positive. Positive are the same as the uh, equation. You just, the uh, uh, inequality, same as the equation, you just divide, like his multiplication, you just divide by 3 for both sides. Then you have x greater than 3. But when there is a Negative number, let's say x, negative 3x greater than 9. Use the same, you need to divide it by the number in front of the x. Because this is a negative number, so here you need to change the sign. Negative 3 cancel x greater than negative 3. So when you do the multiplication or division, let's look at the division here. Let's say x divided by 4 less than 2 and negative x divided by 4 less than 2. This one is just positive, so here's a positive number. You don't need to care about that much. You just multiply the number 4 here for both sides. Uh, 4, 4 cancel out, then you have x less than 8. So we have negative x over 4 uh, less than 2. Uh, we need Because here is a negative sign. We need to multiply negative 4 times uh, negative 
x over 4 less than 2 times negative 4. Uh, actually, we multiply the negative sign, you need to change the sign for both, change the sign. Here is the less sign, you need to change the greater than sign. Uh, negative, negative, you get a positive, 4 and 4 cancel out, so in x greater than negative 8. Just be mindful that when you multiply or divide a negative number, you need to change the sign. Uh, let's look at us. Uh, uh, let's actually do a little bit of a summary for here. Uh, when you solve the inequality here, basically there is all the steps are the same as the equation, just do the opposite operation. Just the only thing is the difference is that when you divide or multiply the negative number, you need to change the sign. Uh, let's look at example, 4x plus 5 greater than 9. And there is other one, 4x plus 5 greater and equals 9. Uh, those two, actually two inequalities are basically are the same, except the number 9. As you can see here, it's equal, greater and equal than the is greater than. Uh, I will show you the steps how to solve them. The first one is the same. Here's plus 5, you need to subtract 5. Just move the number to the other side here. 5, 5, cancel out. 4x greater than 9 minus 5 gives us 4. Oops. When divided by 4 for both sides, 4, 4 cancel out, x squared is then 4 divided by 4, 1. That's how you solve the, this one, 4x plus 5 greater than 9. This one, 4x plus 5 greater or equals 9. Actually, all the steps are the same. Here, uh, plus 5, we need to subtract 5. Then 4x, 5, 5 cancel out, greater and equal, 9 minus 5 gives 4. When you divide it by 4 for both sides, then have x greater and equals number 1. As you can see here, this, this equation, the greater than sign or greater or equal sign, these two, the steps of the inequalities are all the same. But the answer what it means is that x greater than 1 and it's, this one is x greater or equal 1, uh, 0, 1. The answer could be all the numbers are greater than 1, but does not e include the number 1. This one is different. Yeah. x squared or equal, number 0, number 1. The same, all the numbers are greater than 1, but this one could be x could be equal to uh, number 1. So when here, uh, the greater than sign or greater or equal sign, the steps of how to solve the equations are all the same. Uh, let's look at one more. Negative 3x plus uh, 7 less than 4. Uh, this one is the same as the previous one. Here's a subtraction. Here's a addition. You need to do a subtraction here for both sides, right? Trying to move this number 7 to the other side. So negative 3x, 7 and 7 cancel out. Less than 4 minus 7 give us negative 3. When you, then you divide it by negative 3 for both sides. Uh, just be careful. Here's the less than. You need to change the greater than sign. Negative 3 and negative 3 cancel out. Then give us x greater than negative 3 by negative 3 give us number 1. So uh, that's how to solve the inequality. Uh, just do some um, little bit of summary for this video. Uh, in this video, we learned uh, that there are some four possibilities of the inequality. Uh, here's the greater than sign, greater or equal, less, less or equal. Uh, basically, all the steps to solve the inequality are very similar with the solving the equation. Um, the, only th the only difference is that when you multiply or divide with the negative number, like here, you need to change the sign. That's how to solve the inequality.